Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Interphone Ucom 3 Intercom. This unit from Interphone is a simple little device that makes it really easy to get communications inside your lid. It's a Bluetooth unit that will give you a headset for your phone so you can listen to music and sat nav instructions and it will also let you make and take phone calls. It's also capable of communicating with a pillion with a similar Bluetooth unit or another rider with Bluetooth comms who's within about 500 meters of you. If you want longer range or if you want to ride in bigger groups then really you'll need to move higher up the spec scale but for the basics of connecting to phones and one other person, then this really is up to the job. There's nothing revolutionary about it, but it's pretty small and unintrusive, it's intuitive to use, and it's not expensive at £99.99 .99 for a single unit as we record this. It's rated as IP67 waterproof, which is something you don't get with some of the more expensive units, and it comes with 32mm HD speakers that are easy to fit into the recesses that most bike helmets now have. I've used this unit for a few hundred miles now with it fitted to this Shark Spartan RS helmet. It was easy to install, simple to use, and it's been a decent setup for letting me listen to music and podcasts while I'm riding. The speakers are quite small compared to more expensive units at 32 millimeters, but I could hear podcasts and radio quite happily while riding my FZ1 phaser at 70 miles an hour. It's really intuitive to adjust the volume of the buttons. The top button increases it, the bottom button reduces it. And if you think you might struggle with the volume, Interphone have an upgraded model. It's a Ucom 3 40 millimeter, so you get bigger speakers that give you clearer sound. It's 20 quid more at £119.99 and there's a link to that system in the description below. If you already have one of these units with the small speakers and you want to upgrade them you can buy Ucom 16 speakers and they will plug into this but buying a pair of those costs 40 quid so the cheapest option is to buy the Ucom 3 unit that comes with the 40mm speakers. For full disclosure I've not tried those speakers so I can't actually tell you whether they are any louder than the ones that come with this unit. For connecting to a phone, answering calls is really easy as there's voice activation for that. Just saying hello or answer quite loudly will make the unit answer the call. For making calls, you've got a couple of options. The first is to use Interphone's smartphone app to set up three speed dials. And then if you can remember the right combination of buttons, you can make the unit call one of those three numbers. The other option, which probably is easier, is to press the phone button for a couple of seconds to activate the voice assistant on your phone. And then you can use that to ask your phone to call someone for you. When it comes to comms with other units, this is a pure Bluetooth unit that can communicate with other Interphone units or with other brands of Intercom that use Bluetooth. It won't be able to communicate with Mesh. I was able to create an Intercom chat between this Ucom 3 and a Senna 20S Evo. It wasn't really obvious how to do it, but telling the Senna Intercom we were connecting a second mobile phone made it link up to this unit. We then used it for bike to bike comms and the connection throughout was absolutely fine. Interphone's claimed range of about 500 metres is perfectly reasonable and we were able to maintain a decent connection between the two bikes to around about that figure. As with any intercom though, ranges will always depend on the conditions you're riding in. The sound quality for the conversation when connected to another unit wasn't always as good as you might get from a more expensive unit, but genuinely it was absolutely fine. If your main aim is something that gives you phone access when you're riding, then this unit is really good for that. Firstly, it doesn't take up much space, so it's got a good chance of fitting on a wide range of different helmets. I fitted this one with the clip that slides between the shell and the EPS, but I only really did that because I thought I might need to move it from one helmet to another. I haven't actually swapped it from this helmet once, so I might as well just have used the self-adhesive pads and then stuck it to the side of the shell. A control module has to stay on the helmet when you're charging the battery anyway, so there's not really a big benefit to having it on the clip and it would protrude slightly less from the bottom of the helmet if it was just stuck straight, straight to the lid. Intercoms like this, which rely mostly on buttons, are always a little bit less user-friendly than the ones that give you full voice control. I find the hardest bit with this really is remembering which button to press or which combination of buttons to press. And remembering a voice command is just that little bit easier. But those units with full-on voice control do cost quite a bit more money and this one. And if you're going to have one with buttons, this is a good setup. The buttons are chunky, they're easy to find even when you've got thick gloves on and they're laid out in a really sensible way. And also because the unit's quite small, you're not sort of scrambling across the unit trying to work out which buttons where. The battery lasts up to 10 hours according to Interphone and after my time using this, I've got absolutely no reason to argue with that. It lasts plenty of time between charges for me and I've never done a long enough stint to make it go flat or even warn me that it's going flat. It takes three hours to charge it back up from fully flat and if you find that it is draining when you're out and about, you can charge it up to six hours of talk time in just half an hour on a charger. It's also charges through USB-C so no need to carry loads of different cables around for old school connections. 
Now, personally, I quite like simplicity from my tech, and this unit has suited me for that reason. Now, voice control has spoiled me a bit using that on some other units, and it is simpler, but for this price, I find it very hard to fault the Yukon 3 at all. It does everything I need for my regular rides. It does it really easily and effectively, it just doesn't get in the way, and it's not expensive to buy either. For simple rider to pillion or bike to bike comms, it's really good as well. If you're thinking about group riding rather than one-to-one -one stuff, then you'll definitely need to look at something more advanced, ideally with mesh capability. But as a kind of my first intercom, if you like, I think this unit has a hell of a lot going for it. And you might find you'd never actually bothered about upgrading to something more complicated. This unit's simple, light, slim, waterproof, and cheap. In my time, I've really liked having it. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Interphone Ucom 3 intercom. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.